We all know that there aren't three words strung together that stir the soul quite like rechargeable network tester. Well, maybe YouTube product demo? Okay, no? Well, what if I told you it had an LCD screen that's easy to read and it did a lot more than that? The NF8601 isn't just an easy to use network tester. It's also a wire locator, a cable mapper, a continuity tester. It can check for PoE. It can ping a router, pull up basic information from the router, and it can measure the length of a wire. Also, it's a perfect gift for that IT or network person in your life, right? This particular kit has three main components. The NF8601 main unit, the receiver, and remote identifier. Well, there's actually eight remote identifiers, but I'll go over that in hour three of this video. All right, so let's start with the main unit and the basic types of cables it can run tests on. First, you have your RJ45 connector, you have your RJ11 connector, and your coax cable. Now, in order to test a coax cable that has an F connector on the end, you'll need an optional BNC to F connector adapter because there's always an add-on, right? Okay, so now we know what it tests, why don't we go over the basic functionality of the unit? Like, what kind of test does it perform? And what does it think of the new season of the X-Files? And also make note of what tests use what ports on this unit, because there are three RJ45 connectors, one RJ11, and one BNC cable. You'll need to make sure you plug in the appropriate port for the appropriate test. Okay, first things first, how about the DHCP function? Need to pull an address from a router? Well, check this out. Turn on the unit by pressing and holding the power button. Plug one end of a cord into the router in question and the other end into the ping POE jack. Use the select and enter buttons to navigate the menu to ping. Go to configure and hit auto set. Boom, gives you all the pertinent info. All right, and while we're at it, why don't we go back over the ping feature like we've got nothing better to do. So hit the back button. You wanna make sure a particular device, I don't know, like a computer is properly sending and receiving information or see its response time, just enter its IP address, go to start and hit enter, and then you've got it. Even though that friend of yours told you never to trust a strange computer, right? Okay, how about the mapping feature? Let's say hypothetically you have a wad of wires in one room and it's going to up to eight different rooms. Let's say the ballroom, the conservatory, the billiard room, um, in the lounge, okay? Since the kit comes with eight numbered remotes, you can map, identify, and test up to eight cables of your choosing, like coax, RJ11, or RJ45, like CAT5 and CAT6. So plug in your end of the cable, let's say a CAT5 cable, into the receiver. The other end of the wire you plug into the remote identifier. Now from a list I made, I know what receiver is in what room. So what you do is you go to mapping, on the main receiver, the type of cable you are testing, and then hit start. It then gives you what remote number is on the other end, and it tells you if the cables are good, if there's any twisted pairs or anything like that. Now from this information, I know that Mr. Peacock was killed with the Cat5 cable in the conservatory. So, I win. Um, but anyway, you can do this with RJ11, RJ45, and coax. You also notice the display here shows exactly how your wire is configured. So it's great for finding a shorted wire, a cross pair, or a miswired connector. You can also test the length of cable up to 2,000 meters, but first you kind of want to calibrate it with a known length of cable. So to do that, you go to length, cable type, calibration, and then enter and adjust your length, and of course choose feet, meters, whatever you want. To test the length of the cable, let's just say first, uh, I have a cable that I can hold both ends in the same hand. Well, what you want to do is plug one end into the jack labeled RJ45 main and the other end into the RJ45 scan. Then go to length and there you go. Now if it's a long run or you need to test coax or RJ11, you're going to need the main unit and one of the remote identifiers. Make sure your local end is plugged into the appropriate jack and then plug the other end into the remote identifier, select length, blah, 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 hit length again, blah, 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 and boom, there's the length of the cable. Okay, let's go over another feature. That is unless you need a bathroom break first, no? Okay, cool. Let's go over Poe. Well, he was depressed, he likes scarves, and his cousin. And while we're at it, that reminds me, how about power over ethernet? Well, power over ethernet, you're gonna have to Go to the main menu, click POE, then click start. Then it tells you which pins have voltage on them and what the voltage is. 
Okay, what about the tone probe, which is another cool feature of this unit, or your least favorite part of the alien abduction. Let's say you want to know what port of the router or switch your fancy Macintosh is plugged into and where the wire is run. Again, you can do this with coax or RJ11. Make sure the other end is plugged into the device or at least terminated with one of the receivers. If it's not, you won't be able to trace it. Then on your main unit, go to scan. If it's RJ45, it has to be plugged into the RJ45 scan port. Then turn on your receiver. Hit the set button until the scan light lights up and then begin tracing the cable. Or just go right to the other end of where you know the cable is, take your tone probe device and you can find out which cable it is. Okay, so those are the basics, but there are a few other things to note. Let's just say you left your cool Nightcore flashlight you bought from Tech Tool Supply at home. Well, it does have two little lights. One is a blue, looks almost like ultraviolet LED and the other one is a regular little white light that's something like that. Anyway, now the main tester and the tone probe are both rechargeable via micro USB cords. Now it only includes one cord and charging block in the kit, but you could always buy an extra micro USB cord and maybe the multi-port USB Rexford Tool Smart Charger. That's right, another add-on. Okay, also it comes with a short RJ11, a short RJ45, and this little doodad right here that plugs into the main unit and you can actually locate uh, the bad section of your cable. That is unless you want to start over from scratch and rip everything out. <laughs>